Okay, here we go. So this is the artwork that we're gonna be observing in this lesson. It's a painting called Noah's Ark by Edward Hicks. Now, you might have also received this artwork separately from K-12, so that would be helpful while doing this lesson. It, it provides a clearer image than this. This is a really small picture of the painting. Let's move on. So repeating a line, shape, or color over and over again makes a pattern. That's what we talked about before. The lesson objective here is for you to um, recognize different patterns, identify them, describe how they're made, for example, repeating a straight line makes a pattern of stripes. You should be able to say that when you see a pattern of stripes. That's all they're asking for here. But yeah, we've already done this part, so we can go on to the next screen. You can make a pattern by repeating two or more different kinds of lines, shapes, or colors. Oh, okay. So. I've said something before that um, repeating two kinds of things make alternating pattern. It's not just restricted to two. It can be two or more. So it can be more than two, it can be three, it can be four, it can be five lines, shapes, or colors making patterns. It does not have to be limited to two. Keep that in mind. This kind of pattern is called an alternating pattern. And we'll take a look at how alternating patterns are made. So as you look at those patterns, you can try and uh, describe how the line pattern was made, how the pattern of shapes were made, um, how the pattern of colors was made, all of those things. You can practice describing those patterns. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a practice with the artwork that I showed you earlier. Okay, now look at this highlighted text. You can make a pattern by repeating two or more different kinds of lines, shapes, or colors. We're actually going to try and practice that. So let me open up our Paint 3D application right here. Um, yeah, so you can do this along with me on your computer or it might be just easier for you to do it on a piece of paper. Yeah, so just grab a marker or pencil or a crayon and follow along here. Um, first, let's make um, a basic alternating pattern. Let's use some shapes maybe, or let's see, this one might be fun. Okay, let's make an alternating shape pattern. So I'll use a star. Okay, I'll make a star here and then I'll put, I'll leave some space in between and then I'll put another star over here. Yeah, okay. Stamp it and then I'll put another star, don't forget the space in between, over here. Okay. There. Now gonna find another object or another shape can I get rid of this Now we'll have a planet here before the star, stamp it, and then put another planet before the star, stamp it, and then put yet another planet before the star, and commit. Okay. Now, let's take 
something else. Let's take this ninja cat and put a ninja cat after the star, stamp it, and then put a ninja cat after the star again, stamp it, and then put a ninja cat after the star again, and commit. Okay, so here we have a pattern of alternating shapes, or you could call it alternating stickers or alternating objects. Here we have planet, star, ninja cat, and then planet, star, ninja cat, planet, star, ninja cat. You can probably predict what will come next. Can you guess? Well, if you can, uh, don't forget to comment down below in the comment section. And I'll like or heart your comment if you get it right. Okay, let's see if you can identify the pattern, figure out the pattern that's going on here. So as we read in the text of your lesson, a pattern can be a repetition of two or more different kinds of shapes. So here we have one, two, three repeating shapes, or three repeating objects. Planet, star, ninja cat, planet, star, ninja cat, planet, star, ninja cat. So it does not have to be just two as we saw in your art pages. It can be more than two. It can be three, it can be four or more. Let's try making another one, this time an actual, well, a simpler shape pattern. Let's see, circle. Let's give the circle this color. Yeah. Okay. And I'll repeat it. Now let's bring a, a pentagon. That's going to be a little more interesting. And we want, let's give it a color pattern as well. So not just a shape pattern, but a color pattern as well. Blue. Stamp. Stamp. I'm running out of space. Yeah. Okay, so I figured out a slightly better way of making a pattern, and this is also an easier way in my opinion. Let's make a triangle over here, and we'll make it green. We'll make this triangle green. Let's give it a light green fill, a light green boundary, okay. Done. Now we're gonna copy this. Um, yeah, I'm going to copy and paste here. Now we're gonna have a pattern, an alternating pattern. Again, paste. Oh. No, that didn't work. Okay. There we go. A, a shape pattern and a color pattern all in one. Okay. Okay, now let's go back to the lesson. Okay. Find patterns in artworks. 
An American artist named Edward Hicks painted this picture. It's called Noah's Ark. So this is the picture right here. Edward Hicks painted many patterns in this picture. Point to some patterns made with repeating lines. So let's look at the artwork and my student here will point to some patterns made with a repeating line. Let's zoom in so you can see it better. Okay. Uh, repeating lines anywhere? The, on the tiger. Oh yes. Stripes. Stripes are repeating yeah. lines. And maybe so on the zebra. Oh yes. On the zebra as well. And the waves on the lines mean? Ah, the wavy lines. Yeah, repeating wavy lines. Great job. I think I, I think you got them all. Uh, Let's look what at the, about those spots, those brown spots? Oh, we're just looking at repeating lines right um, now. Let's okay. go to the next question. Point to some patterns made with repeating shapes. Um, those squares are repeating. Yeah, the squares are repeating On here. The arc. Yeah. We're looking at the um, paper artwork sent from K-12, but yeah. Um, here, here are the repeating shapes that mm -hmm. my student is talking about. Repeating square shapes, repeating yeah. windows. Okay, now point to some alternating patterns. Do you see any alternating patterns anywhere? Alternating patterns. They can be repetitions of lines, what repetitions about those of two or more lines, two or more different the shapes. Line. Oh wait, the Yeah, that one's wait. a little bit, bit tough to figure out, but let's see if we can find any. The Wow, I never seen red the giraffe. So maybe some alternating patterns here can be the black and white alternating lines on the zebra stripes or the black and orange alternating stripes on the tiger yeah those might be some of the answers let's actually take a look at the answers hmm. stripes on the tigers and zebras yeah you got that uh oh we missed the wood panels on the arc and the branches of the trees so let's take a look again Wood panels on the arc and branches on the tree. Where are the wood panels? Wood panel? panels on the arc. Oh. Okay, yeah, this one's kind of hard to see, but in your... Oh, oh, I think they mean th these. And... Yeah, they are um, kind of repeating. Branches on the trees. Oh, yeah, they are repeating. Okay, let's take a look at the answers for the second question. Spots on the giraffes, the square windows, the repeating birds. Yeah, those were all valid. Yeah, responses. I was talk I I was thinking about the birds. Okay, looks like we got them all. Yeah, the alternating patterns are the orange and black stripes on the tigers and on the zebras. The alternating patterns are the white and black stripes. <sighs> the edges of the roof of the arc have an alternating dark and light pattern. Let's take a look. Alternating dark dark and light pattern mm, yeah probably it's kind of hard to see okay let's go to the next lesson okay now it's time for you the students to draw and have fun so you will draw animals that have patterns here are some examples zebras parrots giraffes What's this? Leopards. Okay. No, not leopard. Cheetah. Turtles. Okay, some animals have spot patterns. So leopards and giraffes have spot patterns. Um, stripe patterns. Well, animals like tigers and zebras have stripe patterns, as we saw in the artwork. Some have scale patterns, like fish. Yeah, fishes do have scale patterns. Maybe we could do that. Some have feather patterns, like parrots. I oh. actually did a what parrot about pattern. Here's the parrot artwork that I made last week to show um, color patterns in the parrot. You can also actually see that in the photograph here. 
color patterns. There's a repetition of colors here. Goes sort of in the pattern of, um, let's see, red, orange, and then blends into gold, uh, blends into light green, and then turquoise, and then uh, blue, and then violet, purple. Yeah, all of those colors. So that's a repeating pattern in this parrot. Try to sort of demonstrate that in 